Okay, I'm recording this again because the last time it was a little bit too quiet. There'll be lots of background noise, but it's probably better than not being able to hear what I'm saying. Um, I'm just going to quickly demo the game I've been working on. It runs in the browser. This is two browser windows side by side. I will create a new one. Demo tech two. Join it with both browsers. Kick the AIs. This is a nice small map, which is good. Um, I'll join it. Right is, of course, the guy on the right. Uh, left is the guy on the left. I'll add one AI. Um, what I'll probably do is just play the left side and try to take out the AI. Um, use the right side just to show that it is actually multiplayer. So. You, you have, each person starts with the territory, you can build stuff up here, um, the price is the top, the sort of ongoing expense is here, and there's a hotkey, so you, you gain income based on how many tiles you have, and the expense is two for each guy, and then the next level costs as much as three of the previous one to upgrade them you don't have to buy them up front you can like combine two of these guys to make a dude with a spear and you can combine a dude with a spear with a small guy to make a guy on a horse um, the graphics here are in the process of being replaced I don't know if you might not have noticed but in the um, create a game screen it looks different because I'm switching over to something that isn't SVG based, it's using Pixie.js which will allow me to have sprites, animated sprites and stuff which will be nice um, was that demo 2? but yeah, it's basically a territory capture game you can see I'm trying to connect to these little islands of green which are mine it allows me to sort of gain two territories with one attack uh, I'm not actually using this side at all You do need to keep an eye on your income and expenses, so this guy, he's got, I've built two dudes, so it's costing me four per turn, and my income's only three because I'm still on this, but because I'm about to capture a bunch, I won't run out of money in the bank. If you run out of money in the bank and you can't pay your dudes, they will just leave, they die, which is quite bad to have happen. Um, each guy protects the tiles around him. Is the, the hut that you start with also protects the tiles around it and to get in there you need to upgrade to the next level so this guy can't attack in to these tiles because they're being protected by these guys um, if I upgraded him then I would be able to attack them and I could actually kill these guys which might be an idea, let's do that. I'm going to uh, put a dude on here, upgrade him, and now I can attack. Both the unit and the tiles defended by the unit. But as you can see my expenses is now 8, because I this guy costs 6, this guy costs 2. I'm going to use him to keep capturing more territory, and this guy I will go on the offensive and... Oh, no, he built a tower, which means I can't actually attack. Yeah, the tower you need a horseman to be able to attack into tiles defended by him. Which is a little bit of a problem, because he actually fully blocks this path off. I guess I could put a tower here, and then I'll just have to kill purple to get around the other side. Purple could actually just attack in. Uh, I need to do it on this side. Different player. It's a little bit mean using two human players to gang up on the AI, but I don't want this to take forever. The AI is pretty terrible, so shouldn't be terribly difficult to knock him 
him out. But it's enough. It puts up enough of a challenge to be fun. I am actually going to make that horseman so I can attack this. It will cost me 18, 20, 22, which I will now be able to afford. So if I combine that, yeah, it, it'll be minus for one tick. It does warn you because if I were to like grab one of these dudes and combine it, it'll go hugely negative and kill me instantly. So I won't do that. You can queue up turns. Um, so these guys will move there when they can. So they're basically waiting for the horse to take out the tower and then they move in. Um, I don't know how I feel about my implementation of that, it could probably be quite a bit better. But for now it makes the game a little bit smoother to play. Um, I may think about adding in multiple queued up moves, but at the moment it's just one. You can see I upgraded this guy to a spearman so that this spearman can't get in. Yeah, I've basically won this now. It shouldn't be. Too much of a challenge from here. So I've got my horse attacking this guy directly, but I could also attack him here, which will cut him off from the rest of his territory, meaning he won't have any. Um, he won't have enough income to survive and he will die the next time it does an income tick. The ticks happen every 30 seconds. I should probably have some kind of bar or something around the hut telling you when it's happening, but I haven't got to that yet. Uh, a lot of this UI is scuffed and not final. Like the, this massive horrific green box which turns red when it's not your territory, that, that needs to be fixed as well. And this, this display it doesn't give you the information you really want. The information that's important here is how much you're gaining per turn, which at the moment is 9, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll work on it. Oh my goodness, why is he... fighting back. Trying very hard to hold on. Um, I'm going to move this guy up here so that I can cut him off. And he costs six, he's now on a tile with four. He'll eventually run out of money, two per turn. the spear to be able to attack close to the huts. The huts are basically like a single villager guy and the towers are like a spearman that can't move and also doesn't have the six a turn cost. Uh, the guys cost 10 and towers cost 15. Going negative isn't such a big deal, like, he has 8 in the bank, this guy will actually survive for another 2 minutes before he dies, so I'm probably going to end up having to kill him directly. Uh, yeah, it's still unfinished. Um, you'll see there's not even like a you win screen or anything. The game just ends. Uh, 
this was demo attempt two. Once I take over this, this is the last sort of live territory. Um, the next time it tries to do an income tick, it'll mark me as the winner and close the game. Um, a lot of these ones here, yeah, see, the game has now ended. A lot of these are just AI playing AI. So, um, what's this one? Yeah, so this is just a bunch of AIs that have been attacking each other. You can see it, it runs through the entire history of the game at hyperspeed. I'll probably add like a little scrubber that lets you move through it like a demo, uh, replay, sorry. But yeah, this is where I'm up to, and thought I'd just make a quick demo for. Recording purposes. Thanks for watching.